Stanley, do you want to come in? Another daily vlog. It's Sonia with Junk Monkey Paint Company. Oh my gosh, guys. Happy Saturday. The sun is just flooding in through my windows here today. I've got my candle going, my hot cinnamon roll smell. And now I'm ready to get creative. So last week on the vlog, we went ahead and we painted Mr. Shabby Fox. Oh my gosh. A lot of you guys have been sending me in photos where you guys have been doing your own take on Mr. Fox. I love seeing those photos. And today we are going to give him a buddy because everybody needs Fuzz a friend. Buddy. Fuzz bunny or buddy? Fuzz buddy. Fuzz buddy. All right. So they are the fuzz buddies. They are fuzz buddies. So I asked you guys, what would be the perfect friend for Mr. Fox? And I got a whole bunch of answers and somebody said, how about a raccoon? And I'm like, yes, that would be amazing for Mr. Fox's buddy would definitely be a raccoon. So today we are going to do a shabby raccoon palette knife style and maybe you can help me give him a name at the very end. We'll see what he turns out like. At the end of the day, when you start the painting process, this is where I'm starting from scratch. And there's nothing, oh, the blinding light. So I'm starting from scratch here, guys. And when you start off and you do your artwork, you never know how, like, what's gonna become of it, right? That's part of the fun. There are no rules, just, just get creative. So let's put them on the canvas. So in this case, my canvas is actually going to be like, I guess this is a, I don't even know if this is glass or plastic. I'm trying to think. I think it's like a piece of plastic. Uh, into a frame here and it was a $5.99 thrift store frame and the art is just outdated it's faded and at the end of the day it is the perfect piece for me to be able to paint on because I could not make a frame this beautiful the time and work that would go into framing this mr. shabby raccoon that we're going to do it would take a lot to be able to make him beautiful in a frame like this so all the work is done for us I'm happy to have a palette for $5.99 and a beautiful one at that. So the next time you're at a thrift store, grab some beautiful frames that you guys come across. So the colors that I'm going to use today, guys, are vintage white, antique lace, teal river, black velvet, and Paris gray. So I've put all my colors out here onto my palette, my gray, my white, my black, my lace, and my teal, and they are ready to go. One of the wonderful things about our paint is that it's made with such a thick, rich consistency is that you can pick it up on a palette knife, which means that you can design your own decor, your own paintings to match perfectly with the furniture that you just painted to with these paints. It sticks to pretty much anything under the sun. So using a base like this, the paint on that plastic or glass, whatever it would be, um, is going to work just fine. So let's map out our shape, our design. That is the raccoon head. There's his tail coming together. Be very loose, be very free when you're drawing this out. We're not aiming for perfection. Now what I didn't realize is that my camera was starting to slide. I adjusted it and I wanted to bring you guys up to speed. So basically two triangles form his eyes and then within those triangles you've got your teardrops but they point downwards and then of course his nose Nose, and then I'm shaping out right here what would be the bottom of his face and then I'm shading below what would be his neck all right now I'm mixing up my Paris gray and my vintage white and I love that marbling effect that it gives me it gives my piece dimension dimension and now what I'm doing is just going ahead and I'm mapping out his forehead the part between his forehead that connects between his eyes and now also I am doing the bottom part which would be like the shading below his head. It's cool when you mix different colors like this because automatically it makes it look like your piece has shading and you've done all these this special look when really it's been really easy just two colors of paint. So now let's go ahead and do the stripes on his tail. Here you go, I'm giving you an overhead view here. So again, do you see the gray and the white coming together to give that really cool look? These are the black teardrops right here. Again, you want them to point down. I call them teardrops because that's what it reminds me of. I love how that paint just gives us such amazing texture. 
Oh, it makes it so interesting. Okay, let's go ahead. We painted on the nose, but I like to go ahead and obviously make that nose a little bit darker. And here we go now, we're using the same black velvet to go ahead and fill in the stripes in between that gray white blend that we just put down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do his ears. And I realize, oh my gosh, I painted in his other ear with a stripe, with his tail. So now I'm gonna go ahead. Hey, you can't, there's nothing that you can't fix with paint. So we're gonna go ahead and add an ear right here. <laughs> All right, now I, I think he looks okay. So we're gonna move on here. Now I'm adding in the vintage white behind what I call those black teardrops. I'll give you an overhead view in just a second so you can really see it. This is a good view so you can really see how I add the white around the eye but it's just very loose with the palette knife. I love how the palette knife skips and just gives you that shabby imperfect look. Now we are gonna go ahead and give them some actual eyes. So I'm laying down some vintage white and these are just gonna be two white circles. We'll put the pupils in in just a second, but let's go ahead and just do best as possible two round circles. While that layer of his eyes are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up a little bit of the antique lace. I put some white in here, I think, and also the teal river. And now what I'm doing is just basically creating the background. Now we just work our way around the entire raccoon. Not bad, I'm sizing it up right now. So I'm showing you that I added a little bit of extra white in some places. You can see it between the stripes there on the edges of his ears. And now since that white is pretty much dried below it, I can go ahead and add some black velvet. All right, friends, so I've just been sitting here now and doing a few little like touch-ups, adding little bits of white here and there, black here and there. One of the things you never wanna do is overwork your painting though, because remember this is shabby style. So it's supposed to be very, gives the impression of a raccoon, but it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, like life scale type thing. The other tip is you can let it dry and then come back. And if you wanna add in a few more layers, you can do as well. But especially when things are still wet and you get it to where you want it to be, leave it there, let it dry, walk away, come back and then do your touch-ups from there. Now I have to tell you, I kind of am liking the colors and this frame together. What do you guys think? Should I leave it in this gold brassy frame? Should I put him in a black frame? Let's be honest, I'll probably end up putting him in a black frame. Tomorrow on the vlog, we'll see where I put Mr. Fox and Shabby Raccoon, and you'll probably see the frame painted black because let's be honest, if I put them together, they're probably gonna need to feel like a pair, right? And do the frames the same style. We're not, I don't know. What's your vote below? And I'm thinking that maybe I should add a few polka dots to him as well, just so he matches the Mr. Fox with the polka dots in the background. What do you think about that, right? I agree, yeah? So maybe like over here I can put a little bit, or I can save this space once it dries to add some words as well. So if you have a cute saying that you think would look really awesome on him, be sure to let me know in the comments below. All right, so we are going to head out. I'm gonna let this dry. I'm actually going to get all cleaned up, wash the paint off me, and tonight me and Matt are going to a 
chicken and biscuit dinner in support of a local fundraiser. So that ought to be good. Maybe I'll take a picture tonight if you've never had chicken and biscuits before to show you what it looks like. Yeah, it's amazing. All right, I will see you guys again tomorrow. Take care. Be sure to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you love Mr. Shabby Raccoon and let me know if you're going to try to paint him as well. That would be awesome to see. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.